Hey guys, I just got my massive box of books that I mailed back to myself and so I wanted to do a little book haul. Sorry guys, my dog was in my lap. And so let me just show you how big this box is. Um, it was over 30 pounds, I think it was like 32 pounds and oh my god, it's heavy. So yes, it's banged up. And I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it with you guys. Oh. Okay. First, I just want to show you some that I brought with me back in my suitcase or by with the help of my friend Gabby, who blogs at Gabby Books It. She's awesome. I'll link her in the uh, in my pants down below. But these are three books that I kept with me. I didn't put in the box. And I want to show them to you. I got Cruel by Jennifer Albin. And it is signed, and I didn't really get to talk to her very much, but she seemed really nice, and I think this is going to be one of the books that people are going to be, you know, buzzing about and going crazy over. Haven't read it yet. It's on the top of my list. I am a huge fan of The Giver by Lois Lowry, so I was stoked whenever I got this. It's Sun. It's the fourth and final book in The Giver series. And I think I'm going to do, because I really do need to start vlogging more, I am think I'm going to do a review of each of the books in the series. So I'll start with The Giver, and then I'll go through with each of them, and then I'll end with The Sun. Um, we, I actually got to see Lois Lowry at the Children's Author Breakfast, which was my favorite part of BEA. There's just something about the Children's Author Breakfast that I absolutely love, and um, especially whenever Lois Lowry was speaking and she made me cry, and John Green and Chris Colfer were there, and they had me laughing, and it's just a great time. And I was hanging out with bloggers and seeing some of my favorite authors, so I guess it's a bit of everything. But yeah, so I was excited about getting that. And then I got The Diviners by Lilla Bray. This book is massive. It's huge. And it is signed as well. Signed on to the box of books. Hopefully everything's in there because it was pretty banged up and somebody could have stuck a hand in and taken anything they wanted out. But I'm going to hope nothing's missing. I got The Magisterium by Jeff Hirsch. Unraveling by Liz, I think it's Elizabeth Norris. Yeah, Liz Norris. This one is not a book from BEA. I got to stay with... Uh, a friend of mine, Claire Legrand. She is awesome. You guys should check her out. She has her first book coming out in August. It's the Cavendish Home for Boys and Girls, which I'm so excited to read. And, um, but yes, and she has some um, young adult books coming out in the future and other middle grade books. But she uh, has a roommate, and Ellen, who is awesome, works for the uh, publishing company that publishes this book and she's like well here you go I have it I can get it anywhere so yes I'm so excited to read this um, if you guys followed my zombie month you know that I love zombies so I'm excited about reading this one thank you again Ellen if you're watching this Claire if you're watching this tell Ellen thank you The Peculiars by Stefan and Bachman Skinny by Donna Cooner the Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. The Blessed by Tanya Hurley. I got this at the Children's Author Breakfast, which I'm super excited about reading. It's The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Pause story time. I, um, Farrah, if you guys didn't know, actually saw him and got to run up and introduce herself and meet him, and she got a picture with him, which is awesome. But I am chicken, so whenever I saw him, I just kind of hovered behind and snuck a couple of pictures because I didn't know what to say and I am um, I didn't want to go up there and say something that he's heard a million times before so I just let other people clamor around him and um, yeah he is awesome and very good looking in person which you I knew he was good looking but okay I'm gonna just stop now okay a finished copy of the daughter of smoke and bone I got the finished copy because it came with the chapter sampler of Days of Blood and Starlight, which I'm so excited. Origin by Jessica, is it Corey or Cowrie? Beta by Rachel Cohn, which was one that I was really looking forward to. So excited to get. The wrap-up list by 
Stephen Arnston, Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. Thank you, Liz, um, Liz from E Liz E Books, which is, it was so exciting meeting you. And um, she's awesome, guys, which you all know because you guys are booktubers or you watch booktubers. And if you're not watching hers, you definitely should because she's really, really cool. But yes, she uh, snagged a copy of this and she um, let me, let me grab, have it. I got. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, which looks awesome. I'm a, I love fantasy, and so um, this is has been compared to uh, George R. R. Martin and Kristen Kishore. Yeah, badass. Okay, and Black City by Elizabeth Richards. Prodigy by Marie Lu. I'm so excited. I loved Legend, so I'm really excited to read the sequel. Prodigy. It's a dystopian novel. Um, okay, so, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I, um, I love Jerry Smith Ruddy, and, um, I love this book, so whenever I found out she was going to be at BEA signing this book, which is my favorite in this, is this trilogy, I fangirled, and I apologize again to Jerry if I scared you. I really hope we can... I don't know, hang out some other time because we have mutual friends like Frankie and other people. So anyways, okay, that's besides, um, anyways, so long story short, I was super excited to get this book because it's set in Glasgow. It's about ghosts. It has this epic romance, love scenes, and it's just awesome. And it's signed and I got to meet Jerry Smith Reddy. So yes, shine. Ah. But yes, so excited. If you guys haven't read the Shade, Shift, and Shine, it's a trilogy, Shades, the first one, read them. They're really good. I got In a Glass Grimly by Adam Gidwit, Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry, Level 2 by Lenore Applehans. Lenore, if I'm saying your last name wrong, I apologize. I've always wondered how to pronounce that. But... Yes, anyways, this is the Lenore from Presenting Lenore, if you guys know her blog, and she is really, really, really nice. I met her briefly at last year's BEA while we were standing in line for the children's author breakfast, and, um, but I actually got to talk to her and spend a little bit more time with her this year. Not a lot, it was still just in passing at BEA, but she's so nice, she helped me snag a copy of this from her, uh, from Simon & Schuster their booth and I also she also had a ticket to uh, Jennifer Albin's line and um, helped me get snag that copy that you guys saw that was signed but yes thank you again Lenore I'm so excited to read this and yeah it looks really good okay I mentioned Claire briefly earlier on in this video well she's awesome and uh, she knows that I was wanting to read this book and I haven't had the chance to snag what yet so she let me have her copy of A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Couplinger. Thank you again Claire. I'm so excited. I loved Cody's The Duff um, so much. Wesley is such a guilty pleasure but so I've heard only great things about this. I've heard it's better than uh, The Duff and Shout Out. Shout out so excited to read it. Uh, this is the box Chris Colfer's book came in for those who went to the children's author breakfast, which, I don't know, I think it's pretty adorable. Oh, and that's, let's see. yeah. And, but yeah, this is Chris's new book that he has. It's The Land of Stories, The Wishing Well, and it's a children middle grade novel. And, uh, when he was talking about it, it sounds really good and interesting, so I'm excited to read it. But... This is a adult fiction novel. It's The Lost Prince by Selden Edwards. It's kind of like a flapper looking theme, so that looks pretty good. I'm so excited about this one. It I uh I it was I'd been wanting it from day one. Abby EA wanted to go to her signings, but the signings were so long. Oh my god, guys. Okay, let me just tell you the backstory and ju then just what happened. Um, I've been wanting to read this book because I've heard of really great things, and I met this author briefly, really, 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 really briefly at last year's BEA for another signing, and so I was wanting this book, but the lines were too long, so and I had just 
I wanted to spend time in not so many lines. I wanted to go do other things, get as much packed in at once. And um, so I gave up hope on getting this book. And then on the very last day, on Thursday of BEA, I was walking around by myself before I met up with some friends while we, which when we were going to go stand in line for Christian Kishore, which I will get to that shortly. And um, I saw this laying on the Harlequin table and I, it was by itself, the last one, and I picked it up and, ta-da, The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. And I did not know that it was signed until right now. That's awesome, guys. I had no idea. Like, like this is like a, a genuine, shocked, happy, surprised face. And my hair is a mess, but... Oh. And now for the book that I... Me and my friends basically only went to BEA on Thursday for this book. It is... Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore, and I got to meet her. She is so pretty. She's so classy, and um, she, I'm pretty sure I kind of scared her, but, you know, that just, that's beside the point. And I got it personalized and signed. It says, for Brittany, trust yourself. And then her squiggly. But yes, Bitter Blue. If you guys haven't read Graceling and Fire and Bitter Blue, do so now. Awesome fantasy novels. Bitter Blue is my personal favorite of the three, but um, it's a trilogy that a lot of people kind of feel really strongly about which books they like, so read them, choose your own, let me know which one you like, or if you've read them already, let me know which one you like. So, yes, I'm excited, and it's so pretty in hardcover. I got, I, sna I was really lucky to snag an ARC, but, um, and so I read the ARC form, but I'm really excited for the finished copy and to have it signed, so yeah. Okay, I'm near the I'm near the end. I promise. I got Poison Pr Princess by Cressley Cole. The Last Dragon Slayer by Jasper Ford. Throne of Glass by Sarah Moss. Sarah J Moss. I'm sorry. Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. I believe. Or is it? Yeah, by Shannon Mes Messenger. Wake by Amanda Hawking. Oh, and um, at the Children's Author Breakfast, they gave us the New York magazine. So, thanks, BEA, for the magazine. I haven't really read it, but uh, look at that in the back. That's pretty cute, you know, pretty hot. So, okay. That is my BEA 2012 book haul. If um, you went to BEA and you made a book haul, please send it to me. I would love to watch it. Or if you have any type of book haul or in my mailbox, I'd love to watch it. Because um, I like seeing what people get. I like seeing if I need to add more to my continuously growing um, to be read list pile. So I'll talk to you guys later. And until next time.